What up, Long Beach? Welcome back to your home for everything local sports. It's Paul. And Julian. And this state championship video is brought to you by Naples Rib Company, the perfect place to cater your team's next event. They've been doing it for over 30 years. Julian, this is it. The final two teams standing in California's Division 4A state playoffs at that stadium, St. Anthony and the Pleasant Valley Vikings. The only football game in the area, and Long Beach packed this place out. Yeah, the winner takes home the state title, which will be a first for both schools. Saints looking to cap off a magical season, first CIF championship since 1948, and already made history with the first state playoff final appearance. Standing in their way, Pleasant Valley, home of Bachelorette winner Jordan Rogers and Super Bowl champ Aaron Rodgers. But always a tough task trying to stop Johnny Five. On the other side of the ball, they got Kyle Lindquist. 6'5 quarterback. Probably going to see him on Saturdays, but we'll just have to see him here tonight on Saturday. Classic St. Anthony is always loose on the state, and the stage is never too big. They lead the league in multiple offensive categories, including number of flags. <laughs> they do have a lot of flags out there. In the first quarter, St. Anthony did what they do best. Get the ball in your playmaker's hands. Buxa to BJ Busby. And be careful, they'll hit you hard and they'll hit you fast. Johnny Five on the design run. It's John Five to you. What's with the Saints and hurdling the defenders at bets? Jumpman, jumpman, jumpman always up to something. Buxa, 58 yards all the way to the tilt. PAT no good. Six nothing early lead for the Saints. But the Vikings had some playmakers on their roster as well. After a field goal made it 6 3, Quayne. Rhodes took the on the load for PV. Same drive, Linquist hits Max Anderson for a huge game to set up the Vikings up in the red zone. And Linquist would take care of the rest. From five yards out, he would run it in. 10-6, Vikings lead after the first quarter. We might have a, we might have a shootout on our hands, but you'll never know, huh? Q Nico Ragus for the Saints. Got the PT bump this week and said he wanted to show out for the fans like he always does. Few plays later, Buxa looks off the linebackers. Ragus had a step, 59 yards for the touchdown. 13-10 Saints were in the second quarter. Buxa to Ragus like they've been doing it for years. Well, I mean, they've been doing it since they're about seven years old together. So, yeah, they've been doing it for years. But right before the half, PV, PV rode the horse roads, no pun intended. <laughs> As a, but all road points to the end zone. That pun. pun intended. Rose <laughs> punches in from four yards out, and the Vikings take a 17-13 lead into the break. How many cheerleaders did this team have, dude? About 387, <laughs> 40, something like that. But you know the Saints, they're always cool, they're always calm, they're always collected, never worried, and why should you be worried when you have John 5 behind center? Right out of the half, J5 to Tino Venegas, an absolute dime piece. Tino wanted a touchdown, ref marks him just short. But in Captain America, we trust. He'll do everything for you, fill up the Gatorade cooler, but this is what he does best. Muscles his way into the end zone, makes it 19-13. Books a rush for 131 yards and two touchdowns on the night, and he urged his teammates to get pumped up. And the Purple People Eaters responded. Amatai Nieto, Freddie Arroyo, Ziggy Tua, you will go nowhere, and you are going to like it. St. Anthony forces a punt, oh, but shoot. oops, not the dreaded double thump, but just as effective for the Saints. They get the ball back inside the five go to the general and save some time taylon pat and the general with a tough run for the touchdown two point conversion good 14 point swing and all of a sudden it's 27 to 17. but the vikings didn't leave the text message on read they responded linguist to Rhodes, who was sneaky good yeah he was and open good. space and then Linquist again, this time over the middle to Anderson. Makes one guy miss, and he's gone. 30 yards for the tub. They tied the game up with the field goal to start the fourth quarter, 27-27. The Pleasant Valley defense was very physical, as we saw the whole night. They made some plays when they needed to, and they got the ball back for their offense. You know, Linquist, he didn't run too well, but he was really, really effective with his feet. He escapes the pockets well, and he extended plays like this. He hits Solomon Navarro for a big game gain and then Navarro the big man showing off his skills in the open space young all stop refusing to go down 29 yard catch and run for the score PAT good 34 27 about a half a quarter to play still but that ain't no sweat for these Saints following drive third and 11 Buka hits Aaron Strickland Aaron Strickland propane and propane, propane accessories. Accessories. <laughs> first down and they're in business on the goal line Patton sneaks into the end zone, Saints down one, but coach Mario Morales decides to go for two with a little over 
two minutes left. Books a roll, says right. On the run, hits Busby to go up 135 34. Everyone connects it. You can kind of feel that on the sideline. They can kind of taste it a little bit. Next drive, Winquist. This was basically his only mistake of the game, and it was a big one, though. Looking to push the ball up the field, but right into the hands of BJF Busby. The F stands for 55 yard pick six. Saints take an eight point lead, and there's only two minutes to go. St. Anthony sideline pumped up. They can taste it. It's right there. It's right there in front of them. All they have to do is grab onto it. But fourth and 10, the Saints looking to end it with a stop, but Linquist hits Rhodes for 13 yards to extend oh the drive. Then Linquist finds Trevor Owens on the wheel route with a little over a minute remaining, 47 yards for the sore. Linquist finished the night with 392 yards and five total touchdowns, but the Vikings were still down two. PV goes for two. Linquist rolls to his right and throws off his back foot. His prayer is answer oh my god Williams comes down with it and I we're know. headed to overtime I, it looks i don't know i couldn't see from that angle but i don't know if he made that play they say he does but we're going ot 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 never much love when you go ot both teams get a shot to score from the 10 yard line in this one pleasant valley won the toss they elected to play defense first saints gave it to their closer pat nowhere to go off the right side switches back to the left side of the field his third touchdown of the game pat good now the Vikings get a crack at it, but the Saints, they have to score a touchdown. After a solid run by Rhodes, Linquist hits Anderson for a second TD reception of the night. A PAT would tie it, but the Vikings elect to go for the win. For the win. A state title. Linquist hits Sean Sieber for the conversion. Oh my and gosh. Pleasant Valley wins its first ever state championship 50 to 49 in overtime. This was a heck of a season though this year for the Saints. Uh, it was not the year that they, they didn't want it to end like this obviously, but it was an amazing ride and this, this 2016 team was awesome. First CIF title since 1948, something that can never be taken from them. Crowd was electric. It was awesome to be a part of it. Coach Morales was proud of his boys tonight. He said that they didn't lose, they just ran out of time. And that's kind of been the motto of that Saints team this whole year, they fight. Thanks to all of our sponsors, including Papa Lucci's, a great place to eat on 2nd Street. Football season might be over, but we still got sports left this year. We got girls basketball, boys basketball, soccer, girls water polo. You know where to be. It's gazettesports.com and the Press-Telegram.